October is by far the spookiest month of the year, especially for me because there's been absolutely no drama to talk about. This is the first time in multiple years where I've had absolutely no topics to make a video on for a week straight. It's getting to be ridiculous, but one drama that has always persisted and I think I've overcovered at this point is Keemstar versus H3. The two people that hate each other so much that they couldn't even celebrate Halloween without it centering around their beef. As Ethan dressed up as Keemstar with the Keemstar puppet for Halloween on his podcast. Uh, what up, Drum Alert Nation? This is your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right. Ethan, come on, Ethan. You are such a hypocrite. Okay, Keemstar, settle down, settle down, settle down. Is Zach from the H3 podcast is such a fucking hypocrite. He says he doesn't, he likes horsey sauce, but he only eats mayonnaise on the show. What the fuck is up with that? Well, that's a good point, Keemstar, but okay, let's see. He says he's going to eat the whole jar of mayonnaise, but he only took one spoonful. He's a fucking hypocrite. Oh, God. You guys ready? Ugh. Wait, does Keemstar's uh, legal team approve of this? Did you consult your legal I team? have a team of lawyers following your every move, Ela, the okay. horse lady. And unless you want to get sued, I would advise you to go. Did you just call me Ela? Yeah, I called you Ela, the horse lady. <laughs> Zach says he would eat the whole jar, and now he's taking one bite. He is scamming his fans, and he is a fucking hypocrite. Casey Neistat is such a fraud. He literally moved to L.A. from New York. He is such a libtard. Wow. I mean, he is the definition the of what happens star. when a libtard moves from New York to L.A. Hypocrite! Oh, got him. Wow. Ethan is a fucking political hack. How dare you tell your fans who you're voting for? Okay, Keemstar, it's not a big deal. I know who you're voting for. You're always endorsing Trump. Fuck you, Ethan. <laughs> Trump is a businessman, and he will run this country like a business. Bankrupt it. <laughs> All right, Keemstar. You're a lying dog face pony soldier. Keemstar, you're a lying dog face pony soldier. Okay. Okay. You got to bring your pop up more in, in screen. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Ethan is a fucking. Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do the show with this puppet on my hand. It, it might be time to retire the puppet. Really? I mean already? <laughs> <laughs> I pushed it too far already. Okay, guys. Well, we got our answer, right? <laughs> Go ahead and play the one I told you never to play, Zach. Play it. Just do it. It's Halloween. Let's get oh, spooky. It's Halloween. No, don't play it. I might. We might get our video Death removed. to all Jews. Ah, uh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> he literally did that. You know, you know he, uh, he made a, tw a Twitter video once. Where he said, everybody go tweet to Ethan, death to all Jews. <laughs> right, uh, Zach? I was fucking... Death to all Jews. I w <laughs> yes, I said death to all Jews, but I was kidding. It was taken out of context. <laughs> all right. What oh, are you great. doing, Keemstar? This is not appropriate. <laughs> that is not appropriate. Keemstar, stop. Wow. Oh, this wow. This is not appropriate. Knock it off. Very hypocritical. Keemstar reacts to this on Twitter by saying, Holy shit, this guy's obsessed with me. He's literally making Keemstar puppets to play with. What a fucking loser. Honestly, we have more than enough proof now. We broke this fool's brain. Ethan will never be the same. Broken man trolled to pieces by being exposed as a hypocrite evil man. He will never be able to put that good guy mask back on. Me broke this. Keemstar then tweets out, I hit all my weight loss goals again this week. Celebrating with some grilled cheese, showing a picture of his grilled cheese sandwich, and in the background, a Google tab opened with the search, How to Stop H3 from Stalking Me. Keemstar then makes this Twitter video titled, Happy Halloween. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another wonderful podcast. Um, the first of all, I'd like to start off by wishing all of you a happy Halloween. Dan, why aren't you laughing? 
Dan? Okay, it's, it's too much laughing. Dan, cut it off. Should we fire him? Leafy responds by saying, <laughs> Bro, that Tourette's. And then Keemstar makes another Twitter video titled, The Art of War. Online beefing, battles, drama. It's, it's really just the art of war, all right? So to help you understand, all battles are the same, right? Uh, let's talk about like a thousand years ago on the battlefield, you have two armies and they're fighting in a field, right? One is trying to gain that land and own that land. The other is trying to gain that land and own that land. And they do that by causing their opponent to lose that land. Now let's translate that to online. When you're seeing online beefs, really in almost 90% of all scenarios, one opponent is trying to say that the other opponent is bad and they are the good guy to gain subs, gain followers, and make the opponent lose subs and lose followers, right? 90% of the time it boils down to that no matter what the scenario is. It really is just that. So when you have someone trying to fight with Keemstar and beef with Keemstar, you got to ask yourself, what do I have to lose? I already have this reputation of being the most hated YouTuber on the platform and still I succeed. So what are you gonna change the hearts and minds of people when they already think that I'm a horrible person to begin with? Like, no, you, you got, you don't have that much land to gain really. <laughs> but you, the person attacking me, you have built your whole empire with this fake persona of you being the good guy, morally correct, but in order to even cause any damage on me, you gotta remove that good guy mask. You gotta come down into the gutter with me to start swinging. And then your own fans are like, I don't recognize that guy. Who is that guy? That is not the guy I sub to. In fact, that guy is worse than Keemstar. I think I'm gonna unsub. So it's a losing battle, uh, no matter what. I don't get it. There's not much to gain on me. Uh, but there's many, I mean, there's a lot, excuse me, for you to lose. I don't get it. You got to study this stuff. The art of war. Mask is now off, bitch. Throw your fucking hands. Let's go! Leafy responds by saying, Keemstar trying to make this show sound more interesting than it actually is. At least his show didn't get repoed by YouTube, though. Keemstar responds to Leafy by saying, at least I have a show. Fire emoji, ouch. Leafy responds, you literally just stole my joke, what the fuck? To which Keemstar responds, where the fuck have you been? I got us a podcast deal for 10 million. Leafy responds, smoking weed fishing for pussy. Keemstar then tweets out, since H3H3 versus Keemstar beef started, Keemstar has gained 130k subs. Ethan has lost 120k subs. Ethan has gained 35 pounds. Keem has lost 17 pounds. But who's keeping score? WTF Sokova responds, Ethan also gained tits. To which Keemstar retweets and says, Nothing wrong with that. I fully support trans community. However, I cannot support this. Blackface is just wrong. Showing Ethan with his face mask from the Black Challenge video. He then also shows Ethan's tweet from 2014 with mud from the Dead Sea on his face, where he captions it by saying, when she says she only dates black guys, and then Keemstar says, this one is also truly disturbing. Marty America responds to Keem by saying, Ethan showed up to a black empowerment event I hosted a few years back wearing blackface, and speaking mockingly in abonics. When we asked him to leave, he got very belligerent and accused us of anti-Semitism. Very nasty and unhinged guy. Keemstar quote tweets this and says, Sorry this happened to you. And that's about it for everything that went down. Not that big of a deal, not something I would normally make a video on, but hey, it's Halloween and I just want to make this to say Happy Halloween to all of you guys. I'm sorry for the lack of recent uploads, but there's literally just been nothing to talk about, hence why I dredged up what are essentially crumbs from the H3 and Keemstar drama. But since this video was a lot of Keem just going after H3 and H3 obviously never responded to any of this, cause why would he? I do want to take this moment to shine a bit of a positive light on Ethan, as he actually recently made a very interesting podcast that I enjoyed a lot, which was his H3 podcast episode with Belle Delphine. 
Even if you dislike Ethan, I highly recommend you check out that podcast as it was something I enjoyed despite disliking Ethan. He actually did a pretty good job interviewing her and Ela spoke up a lot during the podcast, which I found was a really nice change of pace. I love hearing from Ela and I'd love to hear her thoughts on stuff more often in the podcast, to be honest. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. A lot of people aren't subbed, so... If you want to be one of the few who are, be sure to do that. Follow me on Twitch as I go live there almost every day. I will probably be live by the time you watch this. The link will be in the description. And of course, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with what I'm doing on a daily basis. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular, The Dank Memes Play, Turtle, and Azorich for $30 a month, and Boar for $50 a month. This helps me out immensely. I appreciate it a lot. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.